hello guys in my last video i explained how to draft a corset with shoulder and armhole cut together so in this video i want to show you how to sew the patterns together so this is the fabric that i'm going to be using for this so i'm just going to fold it into two first before i place all of my pattern this is what i drafted in my last video so this first piece is what's going to be at the center front because i'm cutting it on fold so i'm going to place this on the folded part of my fabric i'm just going to use my tailor's pin to pin this down so that when i'm marking out the half inch all round the pattern paper will not shift and it will be easy to cut so this is me arranging everything so after arranging it i'm going to use my chalk to mark half an inch all round but for the bottom of the pattern i'm marking 0.75 inch which is what i'll be using to hem this blouse guys i've already cut everything out on my ankara fabric so i'm going to go ahead and use my ankara fabric to cut on my lining so it's exactly what i have for my ankara that i have i'm going to cut on my lining and i've also gone ahead to also cut the back pattern of camera so after doing that i ironed stay to only the front of the corset i didn't even iron stays in the lining so it's just in the front but if you want your corset to have more structure i recommend adding stay to both the back and the front pattern for the fabric and also the lining so here i'm just pinning everything down for you guys to see how i'm going to join it together on my sewing machine so i already pinned this part together now i'm going to pin the cup together also note that when you're cutting your pattern on your fabric you have to notch the bust points so that when you're attaching both cups together you'll be able to pin those points together so that's what i did um sorry i couldn't get that on camera but i just did notch the bust point and now i'm connecting everything together so for the back i already cut the ankara fabric on my lining as well and i'm just going to mark out the points that i'm going to take in for my dart from the pattern on the fabric so that i will not put it in the wrong place but you can also just measure this out with your tape roll so this is me marking out how i'm going to sew the dart in place and then i'm just going to sew this on my sewing machine So guys, after joining all of the pieces together, we are going to iron the seams out. So for this part of the corset, I opened up the joining and ironed this flat. And then for the cup, when ironing the cup, it's important to use a breast ball. That is the only way the cup for a corset will come out looking neat and fine. So this is me using my press ball to iron the cup. Just place the cup on the ball like you can see me doing and iron it down. As you can see, the cup is looking very nice because I ironed it out with my breast ball. So after I have ironed everything, I'm also going to go ahead and iron the back pattern. For this, all I just have to do is iron the dart flat so that's what i'm doing here i'm using my iron to press everything nice and flat and whatever i did for the fabric i'm also going to do the same thing for the lining so after doing all of that here i'm just marking out the points that i want for my boning so i first folded the front of this corset into two and then iron that point to get the midpoint so from that midpoint i'm going to mark out what i have between that midpoint and the joining so the distance i got between that point is what i'm going to use to mark out another point for a boning channel so that's going to be a total of five boning channel i'm using my chalk to mark everything out so that you guys will be able to see it properly on the screen so for the boning channel i'm going to be using a black bias tape for this you can use the Ankara fabric to make a bias tape, but I feel like this is just going to stand out more. So I'm using a black bias and I'm just going to 
place this on the fabric and then sew on both sides very close to the edge at this point i've sewn the bias to the fabric and what i want to attach now is the curve i just made sure that the center of the curve is matching with the joining for the front of the corset and then i pinned this down so i'm going to be using half of an inch to sew this all round it's very important that you pin this down some people can actually just sew this without pinning but i like to pin everything before sewing so that i can identify any error if there is so i went ahead to also place a bias around the curve although this is very optional and you can also go ahead and look up ways in which you can fix your boning so this is just how i chose to do mine so after i've done that i'm going to join the back of the fabric to the front so this is just me putting everything together and then i'm going to hold it with the 1.5 inch sewing allowance which i added to the pattern so guys after stitching it down i decided to add my bra cup so to attach your bra cup to the fabric you can use hemming gum for this you can decide to stitch it and you can also decide to use a glue for this but i'm using hemming gum to attach the bra cup so here just pay close attention to the way i'm pinning the hemming gum on the bra cup so after i've pinned the hemming gum to the bra cup i'm going to place it on the fabric and then use my press ball to iron everything and this is my favorite method for attaching bra cup to fabrics because it's going to stay in place and it's not going to shift even after washing the clothes because the hemming gum stays really well as you can see the bra cup is looking firm and now what i want to do now is attach the lining and the ankara together so i'm just going to place the right sides together like this and then pin all around i'm going to first of all start with the armhole and the neckline so i'm going to close the neckline and the armhole for this but i'm going to leave the shoulder points opened now if you are going to attach a sleeve you don't have to close the armhole but i'm not attaching the sleeve another trick i like to do is use a hemming gun while i'm sewing so that when i iron everything flat it's going to stay that way and it won't shift so you can decide to use a hemming gun while you are sewing because it's going to be difficult to put the hemming gun in between the ankara and the lining when you are ironing so i'm just going to pin this down and run a stitch in all these places and then i'll be right back so guys i've gone ahead to run the stitch and i've notched all of my points although i haven't ironed yet and that's because um my battery is about to run down so i just had to quickly film the rest so at this point i'm just putting my boning and i'm making the boning one inch shorter than the boning channel so what you are going to do is use fire to melt both ends of the boning so that it will not tear the fabric or poke you when you or your clients put it on and then you can decide to iron the boning to be straight before putting it in the fabric or iron it after putting it through the boning channels so i just cut everything out and then melted it and then put this inside my boning channel after placing my boning in the boning channel i went ahead to also close the bottom of the corset so i closed the bottom of the corset using hemming gum as well so while i was stitching the hemline of the corset i used the hemming gum to also sew it in place so that when i iron it it will stay flat and the lining will not be coming out when i wear it so after doing that i just folded the edges that is the center back of the corset by half of an inch and then run a top stitch on it just like you can see me doing so i just folded it like this and then run a stitch on it and then attached my zip and that was basically all for sewing this corset so sorry i couldn't get a clip of that but thank you guys so much for watching 
and i will see you guys in my next video please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can notify when i upload a new video and give this video a thumbs up if you like it i have a video coming up on how to draft a corset with yolk and also another video coming up on how to sew a nude corset for embellishments so do make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you get notified when i upload a video thanks for watching bye